you think this is fun for us? <laughs> <laughs> you think we want to be here? We are contractually obligated to do this podcast for you every second Thursday. So by George, you sit there, you listen. Make sure to subscribe and rate us on Spotify. Welcome back to the Share House <laughs> Podcast. Um, thank you for tuning in. Another bi-weekly Joel and Mikey episode where we, we chat things. Oh, uh, yeah. Sure, we're chatting. We're chatting. <laughs> I have some Share House news. No, why are you, um, why you got news? What news do you got? Well, I'm I'm at the end of my lease. So I, oh, I'm, at, I'm yeah, at a point yeah. of um, needing to find a new home. So if anyone has one or has any tips to mm. give the podcaster who runs a share home <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually... If I don't find a place, yeah. I've been... Because I've been like talking to people. I've actually been offered to like sublet on a place. Oh. as like a, like a last... Like a worst case scenario. Okay. Which is... Sorry, let me move my microphone. I, which is... I feel like a good option um, if you need like an in-between place. Because people go on overseas all the time, but they sure. don't... They want to like not pay as much rent on their rooms. So they just get a man in or whoever in. Sorry. Um done cancelled here's yeah. my thing have you looked for a home yet yeah yeah currently looking because you go and you like you you i guess you try and hit as many inspections as you can have you hit method. an inspection i don't out me on this <laughs> podcast bro how can you be I'm freaking out when you haven't looked at i'm a not home freaking yet. out i'm just i'm just putting it out there you're already looking but, at option d you haven't <laughs> even explored option a hey it's don't worry about it all right i want to talk about something else <laughs> Top of the episode, send us your fan mail because this is a fan mail-less episode. That's your fault. <laughs> we don't have any mail. I know why I'm making an enemy out of our friends out there. But send us fan mail at sharehousepod at gmail.com. Just life updates, any updates you got about sharehousing. If you want to help Joel try and find the house before he looks at option E, F, and G. Yeah. Is that how the alphabet works? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Thank God. it was. That'd be so embarrassing if I didn't have the alphabet right there. Damn. I really did question myself on the alphabet. Just you really then. have been DJing all weekend. Oh, my brain you? hurts. <laughs> I've got a list of things so we can plow through them so I can get back to bed. I'm not allowed. To, to look well i just want to have a wholesome episode that i planned for you so you could just wander in and just chat you didn't have to think too much i want to do the thinking you're so sweet you're, you're a real welcome. romantic i did just say let's plow are. through the episode i'm making this the most unlistenable thing in the world but i promise it's gonna be the greatest episode you've ever listened to i think this is one of our best <laughs> <laughs> quality wise yeah we're up there pod updates we're starting with can I get a... St- no, I'm not going to make a sting for pod updates. Uh, Mikey, if you're watching this in the edit, can you just put a slight amount of rebur- uh, reverb? Put a bit of reverb on this one for me. Joel, say it with me. Five, six, seven, eight. Pod updates. Pod updates. That was, that was obviously pod updates. All right. All right. All right. Let's go again. <laughs> Five, seven, eight. Pod, pod updates. updates. I think if we zoom in on the eyes there, I know I'm giving way too much editing work here. But I think both eyes were dead inside just then. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching back visually, I think you'll see both the eyes say pod updates, but there's no life in yeah. there. So but let's go through some updates. Quick episode check-in. We don't normally do this, but I just feel like it's a fun little segment. Just a, a segment not a part of pod updates. I know we're into the pod update I, segment. We did the sting and everything. Like I, I know, I know. What, but what just, do you think this it's is? It's a quick detour. <laughs> Episode rating. <laughs> Let's just quickly rate this episode. One to ten. How you feel about I'm it? Pretty, I'm I'm an eleven. <laughs> You're an eleven out of ten. Yeah, I'm eleven. In terms of listenability for somebody yeah. else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah, yeah. I I don't listen to most of our episodes, <laughs> but I think I'll listen to this one. You don't listen to any episodes. That's a lie. I listen to all of them. What are you talking about? Do you listen to it after you edit it? Though? No. I think we've spoken about this. Yeah. Well, I've because I've already heard it like three, four, five times. Facts. We oh. did, we've spoken about this like at, in length. Yeah. Full disclosure. Before we get into pod updates, this is another <laughs> this is another detour in pod updates. I'm dead inside after the weekend. This is a Monday currently we're recording on. I'm dead inside. Yeah, you can hear it in my voice. It's breaking. I've been in the catalyst. I DJed on a Tuesday night at a beloved venue that Joel and I have been attending since we were children. Yeah, this is what raised us, and. Midway through my set, I knew I wasn't doing red hot. <laughs> sure. The kids there are between the ages of 18 
and 18 and four months years old. <laughs> and the I occasional would say like 17 outlier. and a half. Yeah, yeah. There's some ones that definitely and slip like through the cracks. 19 year olds who still rock up. Which shouldn't. They shouldn't. I, I definitely rocked up at this venue as a 19 year old. I think I turned 19 inside the walls of this venue. That was like your probably, it should have been your last night there. Sure. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> well, they looked at me. And they, they snuffed me out immediately. They knew I was way too old to be there and I didn't know what music they liked. What music does an 18-year-old like these days? Like, what's a throwback for an 18-year-old? Party rockets in the house tonight. Okay, that came out when we were in year seven and eight. Yeah. So that's a throwback for us. True, actually. I misunderstood the question. So that's what I'm saying, though. So then, wow. did, then subtract seven years from when we were in year seven and eight. Did they even understand what music was at that age? Which makes me wonder, what was a throwback for them? And I don't know. It was a bad DJ on my end. Anyways. I should ask my sister. You should. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll call her up. <laughs> so I'm playing this venue. I'm doing okay. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm my worst critic, but I'm doing okay. And then midway through the set, when I feel like I'm starting to find my rhythm, <laughs> corner of my eye, I see a glass hurtling at me through the air. And it just squares me directly in the titty. And I was just in shock. It didn't hurt so much as it hurt my feelings. Because <laughs> I thought that oh, person Mac. was out to get me. Mac. And the, the way that this club operates, right, is there's two security guards standing right in front of the DJ decks. Consuming a lot of space. They're bigger blokes. This kid had the, the audacity and the bravery. Realistically, it's a very brave <laughs> act. To nail me with a glass over the shoulder of a security guard, and the security guard didn't see it happen. Wow! So I couldn't even get these two children murdered, or oh, you know, <laughs> one. I don't know. I guess only one person, but I yeah. want one of their friends beaten up as well. You know, didn't yeah. even get that to happen. Nah, that's a shame. That's Just a left shame. with my tail between my legs. And I, I still have to finish the set. I have this fear of authority that makes me think that the authority sees everything. So the fact that the yeah. security guard just did not clock it just baffles me. And that was like two security guards of five in the venue. But to be fair, there was like a thousand kids in there. Are you going to drop the name of the place? No, because I like the venue and I appreciate them. Oh, okay. I thought we were building up to it. I had <laughs> suspense. That's okay. You can figure it out. No, because then, like, the, yeah, that might reflect poorly on the venue. They've got great security guard and they were very concerned when I told them about it, but it rocked me. Yeah. And then, but then I worked all weekend and it was great again, but now I'm just zoodled after yeah. that one event because I've never felt unsafe while DJing before like that. There's always, like, someone that's too drunk near you, but someone trying to hurt you was like, Whoa. Yeah, that's not cool. No. That's like your safe space. You could even relate that to back to a share house environment. Yeah, someone throws a glass at you when you're at your home. No, no, but it's like you need, you want to feel safe when you're at work and when you're at home or when you're in places that are familiar and that you kind of rely on to exist, you know? Yeah. So that's that's a real like rupturing of, of a safe space. Yeah, and it makes you realize the world ain't so safe like that, you know? And that's okay. Kept me on my guard. Yeah. But I thought, whoa interesting next time i'm bringing a microphone and i'm gonna stop the music i've already planned this out in my head like a thousand times <laughs> I stop the music get on the microphone and say you got 20 seconds to rat the kid out that just threw a glass at me if that doesn't happen the music doesn't come back on 20 wow. seconds go and i see all these hands point at this kid the security get him <laughs> <laughs> or her or them and then they just get uh, spoken to outside I actually wouldn't wish Because here's the thing I have yeah. And my mum I told my mum And she was infuriating But I said to mum Because she would what, You want to wish death Upon this child But I was like Here's the thing You're 18 On your first night out You're experimenting With either alcohol For the first time Or probably drugs For the first time right Not us But yeah. these kids And that's their big moment And they do not know How to handle it No nah. At all And so a stupid thing Like that Yes, they didn't get reprimanded for it, and that makes me angry. But at the same point, I wouldn't want security guards bringing them outside and roughing them up either. Because that makes, like, they, they, they're children. It's just want to scare them. Yeah, I want to be on scared straight. Them. I want to go up to them and be like, you know, like, you know, with the security guards around me, of course. I don't want to yeah. be one on one here. <laughs> but I want to be like, pointing like my fingers like they're in a gun at their head and be like, you don't know me. You don't know what I got. I'm, I'm strapped. Or something like, you know, just like some cool stuff that I heard in a movie. Um, you know, like I, I run the block, like something like that. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> They'd be fooled by the rocks that I got. I'm still Jenny from the block. <laughs> you know, Maybe we should move past this fast before we... I thought these it's, were good threats. It's know? illegal to threaten death upon people. Is it? Yeah, that's what I've been told. Ah. Oh. To be fair, all I said was don't be fooled by the rocks. I did quite a Jenny yeah. from the block. Yeah. I did quite a Jenny from but the no, block. But no, that's understandable that you were very tired on this day. You're all rumped up. Oh, yeah, right. Circle back. Pot updates. No, Joel Harris didn't even make it in. You got Hat Harris today. Oh, that's actually in my um, live update segment. <laughs> Joel is wearing a hat. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll get to that. We'll get yeah, to it's that. Really, it's on the agenda. <laughs> Pot updates. We hit 100 subs on YouTube. <laughs> Pot updates. We hit 200 followers on Instagram. But most importantly... <laughs> We hit 23 followers on Threads. Threads! Woo! And that hey. segma- segues me into... I haven't read the Threads you posted. Oh, okay. What Joel and I have been doing since Threads uploaded uh, the last, what, three days? Yeah. Is I go to bed and I'll leave Joel some Threads. <laughs> and then Joel will go read them and have a chuckle. And then Joel will go to bed and leave me some Threads. And then I'll wake up and read them and have a chuckle. So anyways... Uh, I'm gonna make a thread right now. Right. I'm only posting this. I'm gonna ro- read part. some of my threads. Yeah, and then I'll read the threads, and I haven't actually read your new ones yet. So you I'm very it. excited. Take it on. I love threads. Mm. Threads is so good. It really is just an absolute shit posting dump site. <laughs> and but I'm, I mean, that's how they all start, right? Then it actually just cements in. Then it's just part of your life. Like, remember? Mm. Do you remember that we used to do stories on Snapchat? Yeah. Do you even remember that? Because now well, Instagram has just consumed it. That's true. And it's an Instagram thing. When Instagram released stories, everyone was like, haha, follow me on Snapchat. But now it's like, I would have thought Instagram did stories first. Wow. Think about that. Social you know, media. Our parents updates. lived through a freaking depression, but we're living through that. <laughs> yeah. Arguably more intense. No, it's the Mandela effect. So here's a, uh, a thread. Of, actually, maybe we'll play. No, you know, I was going to. No, don't worry. You want to uh, do another sting? Th- no, please, no. <laughs> Three days ago, here's a thread. Yeah. Uh, butter, croissant, IXL jam, nature's own, radish. That's strong. <laughs> shopping list. That's a good shopping list. Yeah, that's a good thread. Yeah. Um, here's another one. I, these are by me, by the way. I was going to do like a guess who threaded this, but that's not fun. They can just go follow us on threads. Yeah. We want to have more followers on threads than any other platform. That's yeah. the plan. That's the, the ultimate end game for this pod. This is the laziest episode we've ever done. <laughs> I'm very here for it. Uh, just had a bowl of Weepix bites, ready to take on the world. Hashtag, how many do you do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, in the mood for some cheese TV and chill. Yeah. Smirk emoji. You know? <laughs> uh, I think this is you. Here we go. This I is think you. this is where I take over. At Australian Greens, hit us with some lit policies. We'll lay down a beat. <laughs> It's really strong. Uh, at Gary V, square up your dog. Joel's had a habit on our threads of asking celebrities to square up in the hopes that one of them responds. And I think it's not a bad marketing play. <laughs> it hasn't honest. happened yet, but I think we're, I think we're on our way. That's really funny. Uh, whoa. Joel Harris posted a picture. Is that first threads picture? I would have posted clips, but maybe first picture. Respect. Hey, yeah. congrats on that. Uh, so it's Joel Harris and a massive Subway footlong, inflatable. So the, the, the size of a Joel Harris. So like seven foot two or something. Yeah. Uh, Joel Harris holding a Subway <laughs> sandwich <laughs> is the caption. It's really brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, two days ago. Sorry, in our latest thread, we got hacked <laughs> and the hacky said it was Joel Harris in the picture. When it actually is Hat Harris. <laughs> If you don't know by now, uh, Joel's wearing a hat. <laughs> yeah. But we'll get to that. <laughs> it's, it's coming. 14 hours ago, doing a big satisfying poo is also what it feels like to drink red wine from BWS. Hey, <laughs> you. Do we get any um any responses? Oh, just bought a ratchet strap. I hope that works too. And then Andy has all the fun uh, responded. What, what's the word for responded on you threads? Reply. He replied to that. Oh, and whoa. I responded to that. Whoa. Yeah, I replied to a reply. It was crazy. Okay, so Joel threaded. I love that threaded is now yeah. in the cultural zeitgeist. It's only been around for what, five days, if not f- like four? Three or four, yeah. And we're yeah, threading. We're bro. already using threaded 
as the the the, the past tense. I know. Thread. It's the long gone are the days of tweeting. Now we're threading. That's so funny. How do you stop yourself? Like we're living history right now. I'm I sorry. Like we're just we're living history, and it's weird. We may be the first white guys on a podcast to go through this. I think we're the first white guys of the podcast. True. History. Let's thread that. Uh, <laughs> how do you stop yourself from playing Rayman Legends on Nintendo Switch till five in the morning asking for a friend? Uh, Andy has all the fun, says octopus straps and duct tape. And you wrote, just bought a ratchet strap. I hope that works too. That's really good um, in terms of just talking to the community. I really respect that. Yeah. So good job yeah, there. Just kind of adding, maybe it'll give Andy ideas for whatever he's using um, ropes and duct tape for. Yeah. Uh, hey, um, shout out. Oh, Radio Mike uh, retweeted it. Oh, retweet. Fuck. So sorry, rethreaded us. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. What is it actually called when he does it? Uh, quote. Oh, Radio Mike quoted us. That's crazy. Wait, let me go. Let you me- know, it's it's funny how we quote something that doesn't involve him, but we've t- threaded at Radio Mike a bunch of times with no response. That's the truth. I like to call that out. Yeah. Hey, uh, that's that's the end for the thread segment. If you're not one of the 23 followers, make sure to be one of the 23 followers. Because oh. we're threading daily And I'll thread after this Yeah Because I just love thread Thread great Shout out thread Shout out thread So that's part We of that. clip that Just could kind of plug our threads Yeah from now okay on. <laughs> Okay that's strong I'm so excited to do work on that That real Yeah We need to hire a person I'm yeah. happy to hemorrhage money at this stage <laughs> <laughs> Alright That's all for pod updates That was pod updates Pod updates We'll reverb that yeah, the, I'm like the echo. You make me. What soft. are the odds we don't reverb that? <laughs> <laughs> that, that? That ball's in your court. <laughs> Damn it, that's all up to me. Uh, okay, up onto life updates. Uh, uh, point number one, probably most notable. Uh, Joel is wearing a hat. I'm wearing a hat. Uh, can you talk to, about the hat um, for the auditory listeners? Well, I, I received this hat while wa- working on a feature film. Um, it was my birthday, and the director. Gave me that giant inflatable Subway sandwich, we, which you can see on our threads. On our threads, go follow us on threads. Um, and he also gave me a Subway cap, so I've I've since been wearing it. <clears throat> it's been a very comfortable cap. I have a large head, so caps usually don't work for me. So this has been very, very invigorating for yeah. me. And also, my hair is extremely long at the moment for reasons I cannot disclose. Um, so I, I'm, using, re- I'm using the hat to like genuine reason, not put effort in. Yeah, is there? Yeah. I, I'm going to guess. Yeah. And I reckon I'm going to nail it first take. Yeah. You've got an upcoming part in a movie and you've got to grow your hair out for it. <laughs> yeah. Is that how you <laughs> nailed it? it? <laughs> you did it. God, I'm a good friend. <laughs> I'm such a good friend. Uh, uh, now, I think that the listeners are only here because we're probably going to title this episode, Joel Now Wears Hats. Is this Joel and Mikey string just becoming everything? Look, the last one was Joel shows us what's in his bag. <laughs> Joel... I think this episode is going to be about you again. I, I know that's two for two, but maybe next episode you can throw something at me. What about like wear on threads, Joel's wearing a hat, something else? Like the first one that popped off and no Okay, yes. Yeah, so maybe like, yeah, uh, are we? Maybe everything's a question, so it's kind of alluring. Like, are we on threads? Why is Joel wearing a hat? Um, is, is the modern economy coming to a, a decline i love how we're talking about this on air when it's already a thing that's happened in the you'll know but isn't that exciting though is you're now being a part of history <laughs> as well and i think that's the theme of the episode so maybe the hashtag is history yeah great Quick, I'm gonna <laughs> that's write, just so strong let me write down this episode title you you pad for a moment yeah i'm can padding. you pad all right yeah, stop I can padding. Pad. this this cap also used to have a frida carlo um pin on it but then i took it off because i figured that frida carlo probably doesn't like subway who's frida carlo um a famous mexican painter um very famous for a um self-portrait work um yeah now the, as soon as you f- find out there's frida carlo merch i swear you see her everywhere but she's very anti-capitalist and would not be for the merchandising of a person <laughs> um so i took that one off Shout out Frida Carlo. <laughs> Shout out. So Hit that's, us up on threads. That's life update number one. Do you want to yeah. hear what I wrote for point number two? I do, I do, I do, I do. <laughs> the ear fees just happened. <laughs> the end of financial year just oh, happened. Oh, what'd you buy? Uh, nothing. Yeah, I didn't buy anything either. <laughs> I'm waiting for the full price to come back. <laughs> so that's good point number two. Um, hey, did you, um, have you done your taxes yet? No. Nah. So if, my, if, if, if my cousin's listening, um, I'm going to be hitting you up. 
Your cousin's an accountant? My cousin does tax returns, yeah. Oh, wow. I think she did a course or something. You can do a course on tax returns? Well, she's, I, I just know that she's qualified to do so. I don't know what that entails, but I know You're she's an accountant. By all... I don't know. No? Let's move on. <laughs> like, I, I, that's point number three is Joel's cousin. So. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, I've already done the I had a glass thrown at me. Do you have any life updates? Seeing as I've already I've already delved into point three uh, here. The hat thing was really big, so I understand if you don't have anything yeah. bigger than that. Well, I've, I've already... Disc- the hat thing was like probably priority number one. Mm. Priority number two was probably finding a new home, <laughs> mm. which I did touch on already. And priority number... Three and four. Oh yeah, you broke your <laughs> finger. Mac it injured my hand. Well, no, actually, um, if you look back at the video footage, there is video footage of this. It is a, a video that I uploaded to my YouTube channel. I watched Mikey, Mikey D. D's boiler room set. I can't believe you on a boiler room. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's, what awesome. an opportunity um, for them to come film that in my kitchen um, with your cameras and me editing it and uploading it to my channel. That's just huge for them. Yeah. Um, what an opportunity! Thank you so much. Boiler that's how room. they all do it. Yeah, yeah, that's what they told me. Um, Anyways, little correspondence with him actually, um, but I just assumed it was a go ahead. Anyways, uh, you pushed me. Yeah, I think I, I think. And you hurt your finger. My housemate Lockie noticed the tape this morning, and he was like, "Oh, how'd you do that?" And I was like, "I threw a punch at Mikey." Yeah, <laughs> like, which is true. <laughs> you're blaming me for your injuries, but it's not my fault. Yeah. Well, number three and four is that I'm I'm making a movie on Wednesday, so I'm very I'm going to go home and work on that. Immediately, Wednesday's two days from now. I'm very keen to shoot another Joel Harris movie. What's, can you can you tell what the movie's called? You're not allowed to leak that yet. I think I'm going to call it Stop. It's been a Stop has been its working title for months, and I haven't thought of a better one. So, can you give me a quick one minute overview of what it takes to try and put together a film that isn't just you doing everything like you did in your first film? Joel's first film is called Man of the Sesh. Technically your first big film, right? I guess it's the third film that I've done like in that style, like with the DSLR stuff. Like but, Man of the Sesh was the longest one, but I definitely did things that at that scale. Like that was my third film, I'd call it. So Joel's first film was Man of the Sesh <laughs> and Joel did everything down to the edit, correct? Yeah, yeah. So now as you're flourishing as a film director, which you don't talk about very often on this podcast, if ever, people don't know Joel's a director of film. Nah. Joel has directed more of my garbage and I think I've really taken away time (laughs) from you actually making real films. You've directed more of my garbage content than real films. No. Because of me being greedy. No, I'm just lazy. (laughs) Let's take a moment to plug the fact that you're a real director. Thank you. And you're about to shoot a film. Yes. Can you speak on a, a one minute? You only get a minute. Okay. That's what I'm limiting you, the Joel plug to. I know I got 10 on my glass throwing, but come on, that's a kicker of a story. Yeah, it's pretty good. That, that minute, doesn't stand. Tell the people what it what it do to, to put together a film like this with actors and, and stuff. I guess it's been quite... You started the clock? Uh, okay, let me get a timer run up on Google. Timer. Okay, ready? Set. Go. I guess it's been quite easy for me at this point after all the time I've already invested. So I started making films in 2018 um, and since then I was doing a lot of it myself and then started like 2019 onwards I started working on sets for free where I met met a lot of cast and crew and I also um, made friends with a lot. I made friends with a lot of actors. So at this point it's just a matter of me having a really strong idea and really strong vision. And since I know how film sets work, I kind of know you what... Have 30 I kind of know what... You haven't what, answered the question Shut yet. the f*** up. I'm getting there. <laughs> I, kinda, I know how many people I'd need to make it look like a full-fledged production. So just by knowing these people, I know the crew that I then send the script to and ask, yo, do you want to work on this thing? You kind of set a date and I reach out to actors who I think would work. Yo, do you want to work on this thing? And if you don't have the person or the crew member like filled with who you essentially want you can put an ad out or you can ask for recommendations and that's made it quite easy and time did i answer your question not even a little bit actually what what was the question what Uh, does it take oh well having a network and having strong ideas and having a vision and the bravery to go ahead and um spend money and it is brave um, do stuff it is quite brave you know anything in the creative pursuit if you actually take it seriously 
This is a, yeah. a weird, serious detour, but I'm happy to take it. Why not? <laughs> and it's weird because I don't feel brave. All I've done is reach out to a bunch of people and put things in motion. And now, like, I have to do it. Yeah. Like, I otherwise I'm letting tons of people down. So yeah. it's like, I'm, I feel like I'm doing it out of necessity rather than bravery at the moment, which is kind of a corner I back myself into to get films made. Yeah. That checks out. Was well, accountability to others? Yeah, 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 yeah. You just want to let other people down. The bravest thing was like just sending a message to someone and being like, "Yo, want to do this? Let's lock it in for these dates." Well, I think the bravery as well. Like you're discounting the fact that the bravery comes from the fact that you've had an idea in your head, and you're going to other people. This is good enough that you can put your name to it. Yeah, Whether you're the, the camera operator, like the director, or the the DOP, the the person that spends the day just running coffees. Like this is good enough for you to work on put your name on the poster for the actors specifically like that's huge yeah and that's a lot of trust on their end as well but also if we gear it back here and i know there's a lot of people out there like oh creative arts isn't a noble profession i'd like to think it is and reason for there is every chance right whether it's me getting my song mastered for a couple hundred dollars and then spending money on getting photos done and then spending money on like you coming out to video my gigs or whatever there's every opportunity that i'll never amount to anything as a dj or an entertainer or a mc creative whatever there's every chance that your film will do nothing ever yeah and that's just the the reality of it right that's almost like the accepted reality with almost every creative is that this could be nothing there's a high chance this is nothing but yeah you do it anyways that's crazy rave yeah no you're right or right. stupid like there's an argument for both but it's like my i say to that is like what are we going to do otherwise that's facts i don't know what i'd do yeah and what's your metric of success is it that you did something and it did fantastically and got critic yeah, critical acclaim or is it that you finished something that we just did something yeah just do something man you're making me have to cut out so many swears <laughs> yeah Dude, we thought this was going to be a short app. This is, we're almost about to hit half an hour. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. We should just cut. We should just start at this point. This is the good stuff. Oh, uh, we should just do a Joe Rogan uh, rolling a short intro. session turned into the longest session yet. <laughs> no, I, I, I do love talking creative though, because yeah. oftentimes it's something that no one really wants to address. The fact that failure is almost definitely a, a, a guarantee, but then there's also that little, I, I, I'm going to butcher the quote, so I'll just pretend it's my own, but You've got zero percent chance of succeeding if you don't try. Yeah. You've got some infinitesimal chance of succeeding if you have a go and keep having a go. Or at least you can say to yourself at the end of the day, hey, I had a go. Yeah. I'd hate if I didn't give whatever I'm doing my all for X amount of time. And then one day I look back and I go, really should have given DJing a go. Exactly, yeah. And hey, you might not... Well, I mean, you obviously do like DJing, but you not might have like... You might not have liked DJing and just being like, okay, I scratched that itch and I know now and I can move yes. forward knowing. Yeah. On to the next thing. Like, I think, like, for radio specifically, I think I gave that a red hot crack for... I only did it for, what, three years maybe? Yeah. But then, you know, the, the COVID shut down the world and whatnot. And I also kind of quit on my own. Anyways, it was all there, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, like I'm, I'm happily now. I go, I've given radio as much of a go as I wanted to give it. And I'm stoked with that. I would hate if, you know, 10 years down the track, I go, oh, maybe I should try radio again. I kind of didn't give that everything. Yeah. Yeah. So my question to you is what aren't you doing right now that you think you'd like to do? Yeah. You go and do that and you, you send this fan mail on how it went. I'll know if you don't. Or if you just need someone to tell something to and you're just too nervous to actually voice it to the world because you're scared of the judgment. I've got Mikey's number here for you. Or you can email at <laughs> shareoutspot.gmail.com. But I think that's the hardest part as well is if you've got an idea or something that you're really passionate about, but people around you are saying, oh, how are you going to make that uh, a career? Fuck them. Like that's. Matter. I hate that that's always the first question because that's... So many steps ahead, especially in the creative world. If I had a friend come to me tomorrow and say, oh, I want to start DJing, I'd say, cool, go buy a pair of decks. And, you know, you can get them for $100 on Marketplace. Yeah. Start playing. I'm not going to say, yeah, here's the club you can approach to to start playing. But everyone wants to jump to that step. But that's like, just have fun with it first and see if you enjoy it first and foremost. Like my, my parents used to do that. Like, how are you going to make a career with this thing? Oh, 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 it's it's recording break. Hey, and now we're back. Hey, we're back. Hey, you should have kept talking. It would have been seamless. I was almost padding. 
Yeah, I think that's that's the hardest bit. Is everyone's going to ask, what's the career you're going to make out of this? How are you going to make a lot of money? And it's always a condescending. People always say it with it with a not even a hint of condescension. It's almost like the, the majority yeah. of tone there is, oh, you're going to make a career from that? No, mate, you're doing so great in your accounting gig. I right. think it's jealousy. You're breaking out. You're trying something new, and people uh, people don't have the bravery to do that sort of sort of thing. And fear, and there's so much fear involved as well. Like a lot of people are just so scared of like, oh, but what happens if it doesn't work out for you? Fear, doubt, anxiety. I feel like switch. We're saying <laughs> we're saying this with this this air of this has never been said before. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good life update. I feel like I gave a really strong life update right there. Well, you Led did, to great the way places. you said that is if I didn't give a strong life update. <laughs> I think you gave a great life update. Well, thank you. I just feel like, the, you know, it's whatever. I think you got 10 minutes for your uh, glassing story and I got 10 minutes to um, lead us on this little fun tangent. That's fair. Put it there. We should go quick episode reviews. Ferg yeah. Neil was on the pod. Ferg Neil, that uh, was a lot of fun. Let's go a minute each on how you think Fergus went. You would like me to start or do you want you to start? I'll start. All right, yeah, ready? I'm, I'm, Three, two, one, it's party time. I'm, I'm red hot. I think Ferg was a great person to have on the podcast i think it was very apparent that he knows a lot more about um the rental crisis than than we ever will (laughs) and it was nice to have that wealth of knowledge come on the pod and just talk and like i i understood everything he was saying i just didn't know any of it before well i kind of knew but like i i don't know the nitty-gritty i just know knew the surface level stuff about the crazy stuff going on in melbourne australia um and yeah, I was, I was glad that Ferg could give us some insight to that. I only need 30 seconds. Wow, impressive. Well, I'm going to take, I'm going to take your 30 seconds into my time. Then. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I don't have that, actually. Fergus was insanely funny. And I think that was apparent listening back. There was just oh, yeah. jokes on jokes on jokes the entire way through. And he was very warm. Presence size, we spoke about this a couple episodes back, but how warm he was off camera as well and how complimentary he was of us. Yeah. He was very sweet. He was very sweet. He gave up his time to come all this way and then just be so kind to us as well. It was just, it's just such a kind people are always going to get my absolute love and adoration. A hundred percent. So nice. Yeah. He was great to work with. Hustled in and then went right off to the next thing when he was done. It was very like, yeah. Yeah. Being around people like Fergus is cool because they're just such go getters. And yeah, he left me with a bit of a pep in my step, but I think that was really exciting. So I really enjoyed having Fergus. And yeah, I learned a lot as well on yeah. that podcast. I only needed 51 seconds. And we had Will Boyd 3. Sorry, Will Boyd for the party <laughs> predicament. <laughs> Sorry, that's just weird. The third episode we did with Will Boyd. That's how we label them before it goes out to YouTube. We give them a name at the last... That's the last thing we do. Because <laughs> we're like, oh God, we've got to rhyme it again. <laughs> how do yeah. we rhyme this? And then I go on Rhyme Zone and I look up... I always look up uh, something like this, right? Uh, let's say it's the party predicament. I go... Uh, words uh, that are synonymous with problem or issue starting with and then I put the letter <laughs> that's how it comes to be nice that's nice. another that's another so, backdoor in. William Boyd on yes. the party predicament which was a fun epi- it was a fun just like it was kind of cute it was like it's not like a raging issue or a, like a strong question in, in like a ha- share house environment but it was just like a little like oh what is the etiquette on this oh how, how do I how do I handle it? Like, do other people have alternate thoughts than mine on yeah. this? It was a fun question to pose. And I think it was great having Will on for doing that because he loves a party. Yes. And it's good to see that, like, extreme party perspective that can also um, empathize and give points on your end. <laughs> the extreme. I love... I'm keen to hear his reaction on an extreme party perspective. <laughs> <laughs> well, not. Well, yeah. Uh, you know what? I stand by it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Will, you freaking grotesque animal. <laughs> lives for the nightlife will was fun he was a very sweet man and uh, yeah it was something that was on my mind but it's, it's nice it's just nice having have a, a spot to just air a thought that i'm probably a bit too insecure to actually air with mm. housemates you are cooked <laughs> yawning nay the listener doesn't know only the viewer the, the, the viewers on all platforms joe we they're, they're, they're driving <laughs> in the car right now mac i think we should stop this podcast before we fall asleep on air yeah dear listener Sorry. <laughs> no, no, I feel like we've provided them with the best listening experience yet. I, I, I don't apologize for anything.
I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Tell someone you love them today. Be good. Sharehouse Pod is the pod for you. Hit us up on threads. Oh, yeah. At they, Sharehouse Pod. That's the only takeaway from this episode. If you've taken away anything, it's just go follow us on threads. Yeah. Bye. Bye.